sabotage on the northern streams. Who is the producer of this spy blockbuster? On September 26, two threads of the Nord Stream and one of the Nord Stream 2 were depressurized near the Danish island of Bornholm. A large amount of gas got into the sea. Seismologists have registered two explosions on the routes of occurrence of gas pipelines. The head of the European Commission classified these incidents as sabotaged. The situation was dealt with by the observer of Mir 24 Roman Nikiforov. Gas fountains and spots in the Baltic Sea are the result of damage to the Nord Stream and Nord Stream 2 gas pipelines. Leaks set at once at four points in the economic zones of Sweden and Denmark, near the Danish island of Bornholm. 17 billion euros, that is, 900 billion rubles, are going down the pipe, the cost of two projects. And another 2 billion euros in the form of technical gas flow out, in rubles 105 billion. The first stream was standing, because the turbine was suspended in Germany after repair. The second policy was not allowed to launch at all, despite the crisis and protests. The pipes themselves could not burst. Designed for 220 atmospheres, and on Monday night the pressure was half as low. And the version of an accidental accident, that some vessel unsuccessfully dropped anchor, or dragged it along the bottom, is rejected immediately. Firstly, the distance between the points is about 20 kilometers, and secondly, no anchor can break through the gas pipeline. The thickness of the steel walls is 3 to 4 centimeters plus of concrete jacket up to 11 centimeters. So each meter of pipe with protection weighs 2 tons. Is it a diversion? Or in the western manner, sabotage? Swedish seismologists record underwater tremors with a magnitude of 2.3 points before the pressure dropped in the gas pipeline threads. We know very well what an underwater explosion looks like. People who are both divers and specialists in mine blasting, this is generally a peace product. The special services are preparing such. There are such specialists in NATO countries and in our country, but there are very few of these people, said military expert Boris Rosin. Did you want specialists? We have them. Meet U.S. Navy 2nd Lieutenant Chris Bianchi with a dummy explosive device at the NATO Baltop summer exercises. By a strange coincidence, submariners train on the very island of Bornholm. Part of the American ships led by the landing cursorage is delayed in the Baltic even after the exercises, until autumn, and begins moving to the North Sea only after the sabotage. This group is on the maps of the Marine Traffic Service just 30 kilometers from the site of the explosion. And this is the date of the Flatrader website. On Monday night, an American multi-purpose helicopter was spotted between Bornholm Island and Russian Kaliningrad. Strike Hawk spins circles for nine hours. Hardly follows the shoals of fish in the dark, either covers someone or directs. This is the work of scuba divers who lowered explosives and lined the pipeline during the operation of some military vessel or during the operation of motor boats. Most likely, several dives are required. Or drones with explosives were used, Boris Rosin said. Who benefits from sabotage? The United States has a motive, Washington has long and persistently called for exchanging cheap Russian gas for its expensive liquefied gas. This is an amazing opportunity to get rid of dependence on Russian energy once and for all, said U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. And even threats have already sounded, for example, in the winter from Biden. Biden, if Russia invades, then there will be no more Nord Stream 2. We will put an end to this. Reporter, but how exactly will you do it, since the project is under German control? Biden, I promise you, we can do it. He did not say that I will pause the supply of Russian gas to Germany. He said there would be no Nord Stream. Well finish him off. Well erase it. We will blow it up, said TV presenter Tucker Carlson. Suspicion also falls on Britain. He does not receive gas from the Nord Stream, he traditionally does not like Russia. And it has no worse qualified saboteurs than the American ones, there is also a special boat service SBS as part of the Navy, and a boat detachment, 
that is part of the structure of the Special Airborne Service, SAS. Unlike Britain, the European Union has problems. Yes, maybe they did not receive gas through the Nord Streams at the time of the accident, but they implied that if they were completely pressed, if they were completely frozen, then it would be possible to come to Russia, agree on the Nord Stream. Now Europe does not have this safety net, said Igor Yashkov, an expert at the Financial University and the National Energy Security Fund. In the current situation, gas can only be obtained from two sources. First of all, this is American LNG, but these are not the volumes. And this turns out to be a Ukrainian line, a Ukrainian stream. Ukraine in this case may be the main beneficiary. Ukraine could not do it on its own, said political analyst Anton Koshchenko. The evidence base is replenished by polls. Former Foreign Minister Radislaw Sikorsky accompanies a photo with a gas stain with the caption Thank you, USA, and the current president Andrzej Duda is also pleased he opens a new branch of the Baltic pipe with Norwegian gas just on the day of the explosion of the Nord Stream. Coincidence again. This is a big day for our part of Europe, strengthening security, peace and sovereignty. I am very happy. Thank you, Duda said. However, there are nuances. The gas pipeline is designed for 10 billion cubic meters, but so far only 2.4 billion cubic meters of gas have been found for launch. Basically, it will be idle, Igor Yashkov said. In addition to Norwegian gas, Poland also has an LNG storage facility for 5 billion cubic meters, and the annual demand is 15 billion cubic meters. It turns out that there is no transit, it would be enough for ourselves. And another problem. Baltic pipe is just a tie-in to the existing Europipe 2 gas pipeline, which supplies fuel to Germany. It turns out that, if Poland manages to pull over these 10 billion cubic meters, then Germany will lose these 10 billion cubic meters. Norway does not have an additional volume of gas to load the Baltic pipe, that is, either to Germany or Poland, Yashkov explained. So the Germans have nothing to rejoice about. A very difficult winter awaits us in Germany. Businesses are already closing across the country. And some are idle. Many German factories are moving their production facilities, for example, to the USA. Because their gas is cheaper, said Bijan Tavasoli, a leading analyst at the University of Hamburg. The demands to turn on Nord Stream 2 sounded louder and louder in German cities. But now there's nothing to talk about. Germany and Russia are among the victims. The only question is, who did they want to punish more? Or did you immediately decide to kill two birds with one stone? It seems that the alignment is clear. Elementary, Watson. And no deductive method is needed. But Western politicians and the media have their own alternative logic. All the media are filled with statements by journalists and experts who say that, of course, it was Putin who damaged the gas pipeline. If you look at the German media, there are pictures of Putin sitting in a small submarine. Perhaps this is figurative. But the audience starts thinking, oh, of course, it was Putin himself who sank to the bottom of the ocean and made us all freeze in winter, Bijan Tavasoli said. There are already some MEPs who can't stand it. Russia is still a strange country, its own army bombs itself when it occupies a nuclear power plant and destroys its own gas pipeline instead of just turning off the tap, as it has done several times. Strange, isn't it? Writes the representative of France Thierry Mariani. The British channel Sky News does not see anything strange, it publishes versions allegedly from its Ministry of Defense. They say that the Russians remotely detonated mines installed several years ago. How was it installed? Among the options, lowered on a long rope, or just thrown overboard. Or maybe the saboteurs have crept up. Yes, you won't get close in the shallow Baltic Sea on a submarine, but there is a reliably described way, in the cartoon The Adventures of Captain Vrungel. But they don't remember about Russian fighting dolphins. Well. Here is exactly the same mine, only smaller, but different, 
The Dolphins who fought on our side blew up the German cruiser Gunther Netzer.